Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. Today I've got a little bit of rush defense on Karg Island. This is the last base I joined this match very, very late, obviously. I'm using the support kit with the PKP. I don't know how to pronounce its full name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> don't want to just embarrass myself for the sake of it. But uh, yeah, I've also got Claymores, as you can see here, as I have said in a previous video you can set as many as two claymores and have them both deployed at the same time after that if you try and resupply yourself and set down a third it will uh, nullify your first claymore and if you set down a fourth your second so on and so forth anyway i wanted to put up this video for two reasons number one it's uh, it shows me you know using the claymores and actually being rather successful with them as you can see right there oh you could you could barely see it but I actually got a kill with that claymore um, at the very end of that life and uh, the other reason why I wanted to post this video is because it kind of revisits a topic that I mentioned in my previous Battlefield 3 commentary where I discussed how uh, sometimes it's just impossible to win because of your teammates. No matter how well you do, no, no matter how tactically you play, no matter how much you play the objective, you just can't win. And this was one of those examples. Uh, I joined this game very late. The attackers had, you know, their almost their full tickets for this last base when I joined. And I, you know, I put down claymores. I try and cover as much area as I possibly can. And spoiler alert. We end up losing anyway, um, and it's frustrating, but, you know, I, I actually enjoyed myself quite a lot while I was playing uh, this match and, and finishing up this match with my teammates, despite the fact that my teammates were not being very helpful, they weren't covering, you know, I mean, that guy was just looking out those windows and two guys make it up those stairs. Um, meanwhile, you know, my Claymore took out the guy in the MCOM room, and then I ended up cleaning up both of his opponents, so... That's kind of what I'm talking about, just oblivious teammates who aren't very helpful, and you, no matter how much responsibility you take upon your own shoulders, sometimes it's just not enough. Um, especially if you're playing on the PC and you're playing on a server that has rush mode with more than 32 players. It is so, so tough um, to do anything, and especially if you're playing Conquest with 64 players, or, you know, 48 players, or whatever. Um, no matter how good you are, no matter how good even your squad mates are, if you're the only good squad on your team, you're screwed. Uh, if, the, if the opposing team is even remotely competent. And while I understand that, that Battlefield is very much about the teamwork, it becomes frustrating when you have teammates who don't do their job, when, no, you know, no matter how skilled or good you are, you can't actually change the tide of a battle. Obviously, there are examples and, and many instances of individual players or squads uh, changing a game with a clutch MCOM arm or disarm or flag cap or something like that, but I feel like those instances are exceptions to the rule and not the rule itself. And I wanted to know what you guys think of, of that and of teamwork and the ability to kind of lone wolf it or lone squad it, as it were. Uh, let me know in the comments. I want to hear your opinions on this matter because it's a subject that really interests me um, just from a person who's played games for so long and played multiplayer shooters for so long. I kind of understand the way just random players play and how they work and um, and all that. And I can't believe that guy who was prone didn't take me out. That was kind of embarrassing on his part. But, um, you know, I've, I've seen how most random or casual players play and they usually don't play to win. They play to have fun or they play to get kills or they play to get as many unlocks as possible and metagame and stuff like that, and that's fine. But it just means that all of these efforts by the developers to enforce team play are for naught and are kind of pointless. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. And uh, there you have it. <laughs> kind of depressing, 
But like I said, I had fun despite the fact that we lost. And it's all good in the hood. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.